Hey everybody, just providing a, a quick update. Um, a couple weeks ago, I finished what was my last scheduled chemo session. I'm definitely thankful for that. Um, I've been throwing up the last few times and the side effects have accumulated. I have anemia, so low um, red blood cell count causes me to have some dizziness. I've also developed some tinnitus, a ringing in the ears, um, some strange num numbness, uh, so kind of a neuropathy symptom, as well as uh, ongoing fatigue. Um, it's been a while since the last update, and part of that is due to the fatigue. Um, also, in the days following the chemo, uh, I, I have to take a steroid. And Rachel and I have noticed that, um, well, the, first of all, the steroid causes trouble sleeping and it can cause anxiety. And Rachel and I have noticed that the fatigue and the ex added anxiety definitely contribute to me kind of sinking further into like uh, having, to, having periods of depression uh, during those times, which makes things difficult, um, both for normal day-to-day -day life as well as for you know, creating videos and updates and talking to people. Um, t tomorrow is my next updated PET scan. Um, we'll find, we will find out whether treatment has continued to work or not. Uh, so I'm, I'm both nervous and hopeful that the results are good. Best case scenario is that they'll find no sign of disease with a PET scan. Um, now that doesn't mean necessarily that the cancer is gone, uh, just means that it's, it's shrunk to a size where the PET scan um, can't detect it. Um, so uh, in addition to that, it, it'll kind of dictate moving forward what the treatment will look like. Um, so long as the cancer hasn't grown, we'll continue to do the immunotherapy uh, which is called Keytruda. That's something I've been on since the beginning with the chemo, uh, and I would do that for a total of two years, um, as long as the chemo cancer doesn't grow. Um, if the cancer has grown, I'll likely be put on a second line of chemo, second line chemo regimen. Um, Chances of success with second-line treatments are lower. That's why they're not first-line treatments, so that would be a little bit scary. Uh, needless to say, I'm, I'm hoping uh, the cancer is gone. Um, you know, thank you for all your support and prayers. Uh, we can definitely use more prayer for the outcome tomorrow. Um, it's a little bit scary. It sounds like that's a common thing for people to be nervous about. Uh, their scans. Um, as always, Rachel's been amazing uh, supporting me and the kids throughout this process. I've been learning uh, more about what it means to rely on Christ. Uh, trusting in Him doesn't always have a feeling that goes with it. Um, there are times when I'm feeling low and almost nothing cheers up my mood. But my mood doesn't have anything to do with the truth of God's promises. Um, faith involves understanding God's word and promises and trusting in him out of a confidence that his will will be fulfilled. Um, and there should be joy and peace in the Christian life, for sure. Um, but your understanding should guide your emotions, not the other way around, if I look inside myself um, at my conduct or at my mood for proof of salvation rather than to Christ and his work, I'll always be disappointed. Um, there's nothing to hold on to but Christ. We'll update you with the results of the scan soon. Um, we love you all and appreciate you and all your support and everything you've done for us. Please continue to pray. A uh, big day tomorrow, uh, but thank you.